quickly want to mention this. This is pretty cool. This is courtesy of Andrew Schultz. He finally did put up the clip that I've been waiting for where he shares a part of his set that he did during the Kids Super Paris Fashion Week show. Um, I think it was sponsored by Jägermaster, I think, and Puma, and they flew out a bunch of comedians. They were on the show, and it worked really, really well, and they were all able to do little stand-up bits as well in front of a fashion audience. It was pretty cool. And I think Andrew Schultz mentioned it in his recap how he did he put together a little set talking about fashion stuff, and he managed to kind of do a little set where he basically ripped into Alexander Wang and his sexual uh, misconduct allegations that he would kind of went through that I think eventually got dropped and whatnot. But I thought it was really funny and really cool and really amazing how he's able to kind of do this in front of a fashion audience and really poke fun at such a big, big elephant in a room, which I still don't understand how he's able to get away with it. But we'll speak about that on the other side. But this is Andrew Schultz ripping on Alexander Wang. It is amazing to be here at Paris Men's Fashion Week, or as Alexander Wang calls it, the buffet. I think <laughs> he likes to grab dicks, guys. You know, Calm is a good friend of mine. Calm's actually uncircumcised. His parents are here. Mom, is this true or no? Okay, you don't have to put the light on her. Okay, she's gonna sneak into Calm's dick to hide. Just. <laughs> Crazy story. I didn't believe Colm. And this week he's talking about it nonstop. And I go, prove it. Prove to me that you're uncircumcised, right? And he literally takes out his dick. And then out of nowhere, Alexander Wang just grabs <laughs> onto it. It was fucking quick. Drop it. Drop it, Alexander. Drop the dick. I asked, uh, I asked Colm to dress me cool. He's like, what do you want the look to be? And I, jokingly, jokingly, I say, yeah, dress me like a teacher that fucks the students, right? <laughs> <laughs> now, that is wrong, okay? In America, that makes you a pedophile, okay? I know in France, that makes you the president's wife, but we're not gonna talk about... absolutely amazing i really did enjoy that but it really did make me think about the whole alexander wang thing legitimately made me think about it and about how crazy it was that he got away with it like and the selective politicking and the picking and choosing of things and the outrage machine is really interesting maybe maybe this is the reason why a lot of people in fashion in general just stick to the people that they love and regardless of what the allegations are they just kind of turn a blind eye because everyone's up to their nonsense right i'm sure behind the scenes there are many stories that could be told about certain people getting up to certain things but that alexander wang um story was crazy if i'm not mistaken it was like over 10 people it might be an 11 i've been 12 might be 13 but let's say it's over 10 over 10 guys for the most part some of them maybe i think were transgender or non-binary basically accused alexander wang essentially of spiking their drinks and then basically being very 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 aggressive sexually to the point where you know people are basically accusing you of being you know rapey and whatnot and this was stuff that was clearly done like it, obviously all these accounts had the same sort of like theme had the same sort of way of kind of getting them back to the home house and stuff it was a really kind of clear there was a clear method to the madness and the and the horribleness of what he was doing and it was clearly something that was a bit of an open secret in the industry about how handsy and whatever else that he could be with certain people and he just got brushed under the carpet if i'm not mistaken they settled out of court which you know I'm no one to tell somebody how to deal with their trauma, how to deal with their pain and hurt. And I'd imagine a lot of those kids, especially if you are trying to be involved in the fashion industry, unfortunately, these things probably will end up kind of biting in your ass if you do step out and talk about it. Because a lot of people, you know, the fact that no one actually outside of the victims, I don't think so, really piled onto him kind of showed how kind of fraught the industry is in terms of protecting people because people want to protect their own jobs. So I don't seriously think... It wouldn't make it would probably it probably doesn't have anything to do with Alexander Wang. It probably just do with the institution. So if people hear that you're willing to speak out about certain things, other people may feel like if you find out about their thing, you might speak out about them. So it's less about to do with the person. You know what I mean that kind of thing. So that kind of leads to people essentially being you know 
sh- like you know see hear no evil see no evil kind of thing and you just keep quiet and just pretend like they didn't see anything or they just gossip about it within the little friendship group but when it comes to accusations and you know putting names and dates to things and backing up certain claims they're not doing it in the slightest even to an extent where somebody like a julia fox who's really this is a really funny bit of this whole affair right somebody like a julia fox who's come out of her you know become like a real big activist or a real big proponent of defending um what's her name amanda amanda heard right amber, amber heard amanda heard amber heard and you know the whole issue that she had with johnny depp and whatnot even though amber heard was basically found to be somewhat of a liar exaggerating what went on maybe not the most credible witness and eventually you know for the most part if you're a fair person you would say having you know checked out a few bits and pieces of the evidence that was presented in that court case between them you can basically come to the conclusion that they were probably both really toxic to each other they probably both did horrible and heinous things to each other and no one is coming out of that looking great or smelling like roses but how amber her tried to paint it in the in the first part was that oh Johnny Depp is a big monster guy he's the guy that's evil he's the guy that's brutalizing me and abusing me at home when clearly she was doing some of the abusing herself and that was obviously proven in court of law to the point where she lost and I think she's to pay damages and whatnot so clearly there's some um, there's some truth in what was said and truth of you know of, of there's some truth in flipping Johnny Depp being innocent for whatever reason Julia Fox doesn't believe so doesn't believe that and a few other people also out there are saying, you know, believe all victims and um, essentially saying it was a bit of a mistrial and it was unfair. And just defending Amber Heard, which you have, people are free to do, innit? You do whatever you want to do, best in the evidence to be available. But I just always find it really funny how she was going over, she was really going and defending flipping Amber Heard and basically, you know, crying for her innocence. But then in the same token, wi- willingly and proudly wearing you know alexander mcqueen stuff considering his allegations or considering what he's been accused of and essentially you know settling out of court and whatever you would imagine would be some sign of guilt um in that instance and there's not a word to be said again that selective picking and choosing of cases like i'm going to fight for amber heard but then i'm going to wear and back you know alexander wang and what he does personally i wouldn't i wouldn't care if i'm a fan of somebody's work I'm mature and adult enough to separate the art from the artist. Personally, I don't necessarily need to agree with everything an artist does or their viewpoints or be down with everything that they do say, where they've been, who they've spoken to. It doesn't necessarily be my concern. I mostly just care about the art. If the art is good, I'm going to back it. But some people out there who make a big stink about, yeah, I can't be friends with people that disagree with me politically. I also can't back people who are abused. All this. If that's the thing, you have to just apply it across the board you have to be consistent but you know we're living in a world where people are full of shit which i am okay with because i know i'm full of shit i just hate it when people don't acknowledge how much they're full of shit and they pretend like the sun comes out of the ass like no you're full of shit like the rest of us you have your inconsistencies you have your hypocrisies you do pick and choose um and that's okay you make excuses to people that you like you bury people that you don't we all do that but let's not pretend let's not pretend but anyway big up shots in here regardless i thought that was pretty funny